we're going to walk through how you set up your payment gateways for a Moneris account with Benji Pays so that you can process credit card payments to your existing merchant account. First of all, important to note that you will require to have a e-gateway uh, account with Moneris uh, as well as have the vault option enabled on your gateway account. If you're not sure if you have the vault option enabled on your gateway account, you can find out by logging into your Moneris gateway account and looking for the vault menu at the top where all the menu items are. Alternatively, you can call your Moneris sales rep and ask them to check for that setting for you and have them add it on if you don't currently have it. This is a required feature for Moneris uh, merchant accounts to work with Benji Pays as this is how we store your credit card information securely uh, using the Moneris uh, secure credit card vault. So the first thing you're going to do uh, to add your Moneris account into Benji Pays is go to settings and then payment gateway settings. Now you'll note here that we already have two gateways set up with Moneris. Benji Pays will allow you to have as many gateways and as many currencies that are supported by those gateways as you'd like. Uh, in most people's case, they're going to have one Canadian or one US dollar or perhaps one of each. Here we're going to walk through adding uh, Moneris Canadian Gateway account and uh, the process is the same for adding a US dollar account. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your Moneris uh, Gateway account that you're used to using now and log in. So we're logged into the test account for demonstration purposes. Uh, once you're in here, you're going to go to uh, admin store settings. Now we're in the test account, so we don't have access to the store settings, but you're going to see something like this. And you can also view this under the help menu once you're logged into Benji Pays. So once you go to the store settings account, you're going to see an API token and you're going to want to copy the token that's next to that. Just select all those characters and uh, control C or right click and click copy. Now you're going to go over to Benji Pays and you're going to go to add a new gateway. And here you can choose the type of gateway you're adding. In this case, we're adding a Moneris Canadian dollar account. And this will prompt you for the fields. So what we're going to do is give it a description. This is just for your own internal use so you can uh, uh, see which account is being used when you're viewing reports and whatnot and we're going to call it uh, Moneris Test. Uh, you're then going to check the deposit account. Now these are accounts coming from your accounting system. In our case that's QuickBooks, but it could be from Zero Accounting as well. And this is where Benji Pays is going to deposit the funds into when they processes a successful payment and marks an invoice as paid. Typically this will be a checking account or an undeposited funds account or some sort of clearing account. For QuickBooks, it's only going to show you accounts that are uh, set up to receive Canadian funds. For Zero, you'll be able to see any bank accounts uh, that you have set up. So we're going to choose undeposited funds. Next, you're going to enter your Moneris store ID. For us, with the test store, it's store one. For you, it's going to likely be something like GWA and then some numbers or Monka and then some numbers. Next, you're going to take that Moneris API key that you copied from the first step um, and you're going to paste it in here. So again, that's going to look like this section here, API token, and you're going to copy this and paste it into the Moneris API key field. Lastly, you're going to, we're going to set up a hosted tokenization ID. And this is what Benji pays uses to make sure our, your customer's credit card number is traveled directly to the Moneris uh, vault without ever touching our servers. So you're going to go into back to your Moneris gateway account, go to the admin menu, and then click on hosted tokenization. Here, you're going to click create profile, and it's going to add a field down here. Now you'll see a lot of fields here right now because we're in the test account, but you likely will just have one here. You're going to want to double click or select all these fields here under profile ID, and then right click and click copy and come back to Benji Pays, and you're going to paste that uh, text in that you just copied. And we're going to leave this account as enabled. If you ever need to disable processing for all cards, 
that are associated with this gateway in Benji Pays, you can come in here and edit your gateway settings and disable the gateway and save it. But in this case, we want it enabled. I'm going to click Save. Now, it's important to note that it's not possible for us to verify this information at this time, but we'll know if it's working when you go to add your first profile. So we'll want to do that now. So we're going to go to Customer Profiles. We're going to click Add New. We're going to select a gateway. And we're going to use the, uh, in this case, we're going to use the one that uh, we set up earlier that has uh, the proper credentials. Uh, we're going to choose a test account in this case. This won't charge anybody's card. So we're, we can safely do this. And then we can delete the card. If you have an email and phone number for this customer, you would add it now. The settings down here, apply credit memos, will automatically apply any outstanding credit memos in your accounting system for the customer if we have an invoice to process. For instance, if the invoice is for $100 and there's a $10 credit memo on file in the accounting system, the credit memo will be applied to the account, uh, sorry, to the invoice in the accounting system, leaving a balance of $90, and Benji Pays will only charge their credit card for the remaining $90. When they get their email receipt, it will note that they had a credit memo applied as well as the credit card transaction. The send approved transaction receipts, if you do not want your customers to get transaction receipts by email, you can either not enter an email or you can uncheck this box here. And then if by default, these profiles are enabled for nightly processing, but if you didn't want this card to be uh, used as during the nightly processing for this customer's invoices, you could uncheck this here. So we're going to save that. And now we can see that this account, this is the card that we just created. Uh, if there was an error in your configuration, you would receive an error message, at which point you can reach out to support at BenjiPays.com for some assistance. That's how you add a Moneris account. If you need to add a US dollar account, you would then repeat the process, this time choosing the Moneris US dollar account. Now, it's really important that you make sure if you do have two uh, uh, Moneris gateways, one for US and one for Canadian dollars, that you enter the correct API token and the correct host to take tokenization and store ID. Moneris Gateway only receives numbers for the amount of the transaction. It doesn't request a currency. So it will always bill your customer's card in the currency that that account is set up in. So if we send a $50 transaction to your US dollar account, because that's what you've added the card for, that's what the customer's card will be billed for, $50 US. So please make sure you have the correct information uh, for the merchant account you're setting up.